Ahoy! And welcome back to Paradise Lost in Books. I'm Christy, and today I am going to be doing an unboxing. This is the March Owl Crate box, which is why I have the weird cheap plastic hook on my hand, because the theme was Sailors, Ships, and Seas. I think I struggle with alliteration. I love anything related to the ocean, mermaids, pirates, beachy anything. I just love all things nautical. So I'm going to shut up and get into this box because I am beyond excited to see what is in this box. I wonder if I can open it with my hook. No, no, that's, that's not going to work. The box is open. This is what we have inside. Oh, the art is beautiful. I love the art print they send every month and this is just gorgeous. I'm not going to look at the back because I don't want to be spoiled, but wow, is this beautiful and promising. The first thing I see... Oh, oh, okay, wow, this took me about 30 seconds to figure out what this was. So this is washi tape, which I actually use a lot in my classroom, so this is pretty exciting. But it has like a mermaid pattern, I don't know if you can see that at all. But it's purple with a gold scale pattern, so it looks very mermaidy. I love using this in my classroom. Like I'll tape things up on the board. I'll section things off on the board and stuff like that. So I really, really, really love this. This is so pretty and useful. I love items that I can use. I'm trying to open it and it's not working for me very well. Oh, there we go. The company name is Simply Gilded, by the way. Now that the packaging is off. Ooh, and it feels cool too. So I don't know if you can see better. Ooh, there's a bag. This is from the Geeky Cauldron and I've heard nothing but good things about the Geeky Cauldron. I love this little bag, look how cute this is. Sorry my cat keeps meowing, she's very needy. <gasps> oh my gosh. I have been hoping and praying to get jewelry from a subscription box because I don't have a lot of jewelry that I really like and this is more perfect than I could have possibly imagined. This is freaking gorgeous oh my god i i can't deal with this look it's like a compass in an in a wheel and then an anchor and it's so beautiful holy crap geeky cauldron you outdid yourself guys and it's not like gold like usually i don't like gold jewelry but this is like a bronzy kind of gold i'm wearing this yo What's next? Oh, so this is like a notepad with an octopus on it wearing a paper hat. How precious. Oh my God, I love this. I'm getting so many useful things for my classroom right now. This is by Boy Girl Party. This is so cute. I love him. He's adorable. Oh, I'm gonna use this so much. Oh my God, is this another tote bag? Alcrate, what are you doing to me? No, maybe? What is this? I have no idea what I'm holding in my hands right now. It's a tea towel. It's a tea towel. I'm not a very homey person, so that's why I was very confused. I thought it was a tote bag, and then I saw there were no handles. So this is a tea towel, which I folded very poorly, but it has this lovely, beautiful ship design on it. And it says, a ship is always safe at shore, but that is not what it's built for. I'm wondering if that's a quote from the book for the month or if that's just something really freaking adorable. But this is beautiful. I love this design, like this is gorgeous. And here I have this beautiful link to an excerpt from a book coming out in June called Song of the Current. It says, ships burn along the waterways of a magical world and Caroline or Astia waits for the river god to whisper her name, but to save her captured father and the only world she's ever known, she will need more than the favor of the gods. Wow, that's... That sounds cool, definitely gonna check that out. I think all that's left is the book. This month's book is Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Levenseller. I have not even heard of this book, whereas last month I was like, oh, Caraval, that's all I've been hearing about. Of course that's gonna be the book. I have heard absolutely zero nothing about this book, but it has a little redhead on the front, so that's exciting. And this is a very beautiful cover. I love this art style. I'll read the flap for you. There will be plenty of time for me to beat him soundly once I've gotten what I came for. Sent on a mission to retrieve an ancient hidden map, the key to a legendary treasure trove, 17-year-old pirate captain Alosa deliberately allows herself to be captured by her enemies, giving her the perfect opportunity to search their ship. More than a match for the ruthless pirate crew, Alosa has only one thing standing between her and the map, 
her captor, the unexpectedly clever and unfairly attractive first mate Raiden. But not to worry, for Elosa has a few tricks up her sleeve and no lone pirate can stop the daughter of the Pirate King. I love the inside of this book. It has this beautiful ship, which is lovely. I love art in my books in a big way. And the cover, I don't know if you can see it, the cover has crossed cutlasses, which is very cute. This is really exciting. I've never really read a pirate book before, unless you count Treasure Island, but you know, nothing modern. So this will definitely be something to change up my reading genres that I have been reading. Just a couple more things in here with the book. We have this Daughter of the Pirate King temporary tattoo, which is neat. I will probably display this rather than using it. We have our signed book plate, which is beautiful and has the lovely skull and crossed swords. And here's the letter from the author, which is beautiful. I love her drawings on here of like the siren and the boat on the water that's beautiful and i love how she talks about that her favorite movie is pirates of the caribbean which is really cool and how she had always hoped to find a ya book that would give her something like pirates of the caribbean but she never found it and so she was like screw it i'm just gonna write that book myself which i think is great so I'm sure there's going to be a lot of love and devotion put into this book, and I'm super excited to read it. And here's a sneak peek at next month's theme, which is Head Over Heels, which I'm guessing is a celebration of couples in literature. Apparently I did not get one of the lovely 100 enamel pins, but I do have the owl crate button of the little owl in his pirate garb, which is cute and lovely and wonderful. All right, guys, that is it for the unboxing of the March owl crate box i hope if you enjoyed this video that you'll give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you can see all of my future unboxings thank you so much for taking the time to watch this guys and i will see you next time bye